गाइस व्हाट्स अप रजत हेयर फ्रॉम वीएफएक्स वर्ल्ड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सो टुडे आई विल शो यू वन मोर एक्साइटिंग ट्यूटोरियल बेस्ड ऑन फोटोशॉप एडवांस्ड जीफ एनिमेशन टेक्निक दिस ट्यूटोरियल इज एब्सोल्युटली अ लॉट ऑफ फन सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड So now we are in my system and after a long time a photoshop tutorial. So guys this tutorial is really cool because I really love this kind of things. I have ever seen this kind of things in Instagram, some kind of Facebook, Twitter but this time I am here to show you this cool technique. So let's get started. First of all what you have to do you have to select this background double click on this and press okay and just rename it is like right click and where is the rename 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 i don't know how to name so just double click on this layer and rename it like a main bg okay done now select this <coughs> click over this option this quick mask options and select this brush and make sure you have to select the black options now just you have to paint this entire area where the waterfall i mean what the areas you really need so now i'm doing the same thing like let's take a smooth brush hardness like zero and let's paint so guys this will take some time so i'm fast forwarding this entire process so it will really helpful for you guys because this technique is really boring because when i'm doing this so let's fast forward this entire area so the entire process is done right now so let's jump to the exact magical part so now what i'll do i'll just press this option over here and now see you have your own quick selection now you have to press control shift i on keyboard to for invert the selection now you can see this much area is now selected now press on keyboard control j or in mac machine command j so now it's duplicated see you can see the entire masked area is now in a new copy and if you zoom this area I I have done this kind of things because I decreased this opacity of this brush so this area is little bit transparent so this is the benefit for uh, like selectioning for with this method is really really good now I'm just making this layer options like little bigger for bigger viewing purpose okay so now this layer 1 is my new jpeg which which is like exported from this main one so let's jump from window to this timeline Okay so now what I'll do I'll make a create video timeline over here so now press this video to create timeline and now what I'll do I'll just select this layer 1 and if you see you if you turn on this layer 1 option you can't find its like position opacity and style but you don't have any transform properties so for this thing you have to make this layer 1 in a smart object so press right click and convert this to a smart object Now when you open this one you will get your transform properties which will really helpful for this tutorial. Now make this transform properties like if press a keyframe over there but before pressing this keyframe I'm now decreasing this timeline from like 1 second is enough like play this it's like 1 second it's really good. Okay now go to the first frame and press a keyframe over there now it's getting a keyframe now the last frame by pressing shift you can snap it over there in the last frame and now what you have to do press com control t for transform this entire area now press on shift keyboard and you just drag it down like this so now what i'll do just take one more keyframe and press enter now you see you have one and two two keyframes over here now if i'll do this like it feel like it's animated see is already animated this entire area now see this area if we if we play this area is suddenly like coming so i want some fade in and fade out effect so click here and you see your fade in effect so let's drag it here and same thing drag it here so now if you wish you can decrease uh, increase it slightly and just like this okay now it's fine now play this you can see it's coming like a soft transitions it's not getting a jark okay so this thing is done right now the next part which is the most trickiest part before this 
starting this I have to select this main BG and right click and duplicate so I just press ctrl J for duplicate and move it to the top and rename it like a like main BG and it's like a top okay so now turn off this one I'm not uh, using this one right now but I will use after some time you will get that soon so now select this layer one and control G for group this entire properties now this is in group one the next part is you have to press ctrl J for duplicate this group one and just open this group one here and you have to just press slightly drag it to the center of this fade in fade out because whenever you play when your fade in option is getting started and the fade out option is going down in between this of in this few frames that this group one will be starting like this so it's feel like it's one kind of loop but this thing it will make good after some time so now select this group one copy control J one more copy now open this and move it same thing like here okay now one more copy is like open this one and slightly like this now one more copy I'm making so much copy because I want this entire time at least uh, like few sec seconds it's not like one second loop so it's it's fine now if you wish you can make so many copies but it's just uh, just waste of the time because you have to make a loop so now the most trickiest part is happening in front of you so what I'll do I'll just turn off all these layers the main thing is done just see this animation is coming is good now what you have to do you have to turn on this layer Control plus for zoom entire area and now what I have to do I have to mask this entire area so just press alt and press mask for invert this entire mask area now select the selection tool and you have to just press a roughly selection with this entire area with this characters because I want this entire waterfalls behind of these characters and this one as well so select it all like this in the down parts and when it's done completely you just select a brush tool by pressing B and make it bigger and take this white color for reveling the entire thing then what happened when I'll reveal in this entire area just now the thing is like this water is coming down and it's overlapping the entire thing so now select this mask and let's start drawing so you can see your character is now visible here now press ctrl D on keyboard now when you play this it's feel like it's going down but when you zoom it you can see a sharp line is visible here so for this you have to make a soft brush and like a roughly selections like you have to make this entire area just smoother because you don't want any kind of jerk in front of you so just zoom it here and the same thing applicable for here as well this area now you can see this hand is not visible so just revisible this entire thing and this one as well so just like this so now when you play it's feel like entire thing is going down see it's not feeling that bad like previous so now what I'll do I'll make this thing to until here like 50% open this yeah it's 50% done now I'll do one more copy of this thing like copy one and open it like this and drag it to here uh, slightly back and like this so the basic idea is when the main timeline and just make it bigger when my main timeline is going from here to here it will done so now I'll make this timeline to here so when you play it will feel like it's become a loop so just turn off all those layers and from here you have to on this loop playback option the resolution is 50% is good or else you can use the 25% because it will become hang then just press ctrl 0 now when you play this entire area it will become a loop so it's now animating the next part is you have to color correct this entire process so just press color lookup as I always did next then select your own best color correction option in my case I am choosing this one is really good next I will use some curves editor 
is like curves and I'll add some like contrast for this just decrease it slightly and increase it like this and take a blue and it's likely not like yellowish part and the red one should go a little, little down so now it's almost like one kind of cinematic so now just turn off this one now it's went fine just you have to play this entire animation so now when you play you can see in front of you a cool animated water advanced chief animation so guys this is it for today hope you really enjoyed this entire tutorial journey and if you like then don't forget to hit that subscribe button on below in description you can find more tutorials and for the further notifications please don't forget to press that bell icon i will see you in my next tutorial till then have fun stay healthy and as i always say bye bye